hello friends today i have come up with a new video on bus bus skins in the earlier videos i have already explained regarding single main bus bar and single main bus bar with sectionalizer scheme today i shall explain what is single main and transfer scheme before i go to single main and transfer scheme we shall see how a single main bus bar works in a single main bus bar scheme we can see all the feeders are directly connected to a single bus bar and all the feeders are having two numbers of isolator across the circuit breaker from the picture we can observe in normal condition without fault all the feeders are working in normal condition but when a fault comes in a circuit breaker of a particular feeder the feeder becomes out and the feeder will no more work normally but the remaining feeders connected to the bus bar will work normally now in main and transfer scheme we'll see how this problem is taken care of bus bar schemes are basically considered game of switching when we jump to a better bus bar scheme the number of switches are increased the switches are basically circuit breakers and the isolators so in a main and transfer bus bar scheme we'll see the number of isolators used per feeder in this bus bar scheme are 3 and one extra bus bar is used and both the bus bars are connected to each other by a bus coupler bus coupler is a combination of circuit breaker and isolator on the either side of the circuit breakers and the extra isolator which is used in the feeder for connecting the transfer bus bar is known as transfer isolator transfer isolators are connected in such a way that when a feeder enters the substation, it will face the transfer isolator first. In case of any fault or any problem in the main switches of the feeder, that is line isolator, circuit breaker and bus bar isolator, the feeder can be transferred to the transfer bus bar through this transfer isolator. Let us see how this scheme works. In case of normal condition, main and transfer bus bar scheme works like a single main bus bar scheme only. All the feeders are connected to a single bus bar that is main bus and the transfer isolator of the feeder are generally kept open in case of a fault in any one of the feeder that is any circuit breaker of a feeder the feeders becomes out but remaining all the feeders works normally which is same as single bus bar scheme but in this scheme for such kind of fault we have the facility to separate out the faulty circuit breaker that is in this picture it is colored with green the circuit breaker and the isolators on the either side of the circuit breaker after we separate out the faulty circuit breaker from the feeder we can connect the feeder to the transfer bus bar through the transfer isolator and again the transfer isolator can be connected to the main bus bar with bus coupler that is the bus coupler circuit breaker and the isolators on the either side of the circuit breaker so with this arrangement we are basically connecting the feeder to the main bus bar through this transfer bus bar and the bus coupler hence in this scheme when the main circuit breaker of a feeder becomes faulty then also the feeder can be connected to the bus bar with a short outage and work normally as earlier but the problem still lies with this bus bar schemes in case of bus bar fault in case of bus bar fault all the feeders becomes out and we don't have the scope to overcome the problem 